Hello guys, uh, today I just want to tell you guys a story. So, years, years, years ago, when I was like five years old, I remember I got this guy from Kmart. It was my first rubber ever, and I loved it, I loved it, and who wouldn't like this as a child? I loved it, I played it everywhere, I played it outside, I played it indoors, which is like the only place you can play and in the dirt uh, too uh the reason why i loved it so much was obviously it's pretty obvious the sounds and the song as a child i loved the song like so much especially this button that button was so cool i remember back then i used to i used to press this button a lot Make it go forward, and it would just slam, like, hard slam into the wall. And it would still be on. So that made me, like, god dang. That's that, it's that powerful. No, I didn't, um, drive it off some table. Ever. I knew its limits. But I didn't, <laughs> but I didn't know one thing about it. When I was playing with it, um, it started to get slow. Like, very slow the car and in my mind I'm like what's happening and then I started to hear this like like screeching sound not screeching but it, it was like you guys all know how it split gear sounds like when on one of these top 10 comebacks yeah that happened that happened back then um, I didn't know how to fix it at all back then um, I thought it was hair. I thought hair got stuck on the wheel. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'll just take out the hair. So I flipped it over and unscrewed it and started taking out the hair. But then I realized, wait, there isn't hair here. I pressed the four button and I held the wheel in. And I, and I just heard something inside of it. And it wouldn't really run at all. It would just kind of like slip around like this. Like if it wanted to do this, it would go like this. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna try to fix it. Obviously, I didn't know how to fix it. And uh, I end up kind of, I end up um, loosening up the wires and they broke or they just came off. So yeah, uh, this guy didn't run at all. And then I threw it away because I didn't know how to fix it. You might be wondering, did you buy another one? No, I did not. But I did buy a cha-cha slide. Yep, you guys might not believe me, but I did have a cha-cha slide. It was, um, it's the basic color, the red and black one. That was my, um, I remember the song, or I remember it. I used to play with that one a lot. But, yeah. I have, like, little memories of this, but I do have a lot of memories of the cha-cha slide. And yes, I did the exact same thing as a child would do. Ram it into a wall, do all the fun stuff, put it underneath water. Yeah, it still survived. I don't know how it did, but it just still survived. Years later, years, years, and years later, and no, I don't have the cha-cha slide right now. But years later, I found this guy in the flea market. Bought it, I think it was like five or 10 bucks, and took it home. And this time, I actually knew how to fix a top 10 comeback because I had repaired top 10 comebacks in the past before. Remember that um, PT Cruiser? Not PT Cruiser. Um, F3 Cruiser. Um, the green one. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah, I kind of not really fixed that guy. Like, I kind of... That was my first time fixing a top 10 comeback, so it wasn't good at all. But then when I got this guy, I made sure I would fix it as best as possible. And I did. I did um I did what I did. I lubricated these wheels with WD-40 so they don't squeak. And then um I opened up the gearbox. I took this thing out, unsoldered the wires, and then took a wheel off, used a drill to take another wheel off, take this wheel off, but slowly so the plastic grip doesn't wear out. 
opened up the gearbox fully without any trouble, cleaned the gears with grease fighting soap, lubricated the motor with WD-40, and after I'm um, cleaning the gears and drying them off, I put it back together, but this time with um, red and tacky grease. Close it back up, soldered the wires in, put the wheels back in, and it's been like that ever since. But besides all of that, there is one like great moment I remember, which was the sound it made when it like was on tile. You know that sound? Like you know that screeching sound that the plastic would make every time it would do that? That was like the best memory. I love that sound so much. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll show you guys. I'll mute it so you guys can hear it. That sound, that screeching sound, I love that sound, like, so much. I just loved it, and I still do. But I just wanted to tell you guys this little story of mine. Hopefully I get, like, the like the cha-cha slide car or truck. I want to get it. I want to get my um, childhood version, which was the red and black one. But that's, that's why I, that's all... I wanted to tell you guys. Bye.